Hello and welcome to It's Your Business with Mario Tonaguzzi. Joining me today is Wayne Harris, who is the football coach at the University of Calgary Dinosaurs or Dinos football program. And uh, thanks for joining us today, Wayne. Thank you, Mario. So tell me, uh, you know, this has got to be an odd year, obviously, for you. This is, what, probably the first time in your lifetime that uh, you're not doing uh, something uh, in terms of football, in terms of uh, actual playing. Well, definitely, uh, it's a, a different world out there right now for everyone. And, uh, you know, we've never missed a football season uh, as far back as I can remember as a child, even watching dad play. So it's uh, definitely a different uh, circumstances right now. So bring us up to date on uh, what's the deal with the university football program uh, uh, this fall and, the, and this year. Yeah, so right now we have our team in. We've broken down into small cohorts. Uh, we're having practices uh, three times a week, uh, getting the guys out on the field, getting our freshmen familiar with our playbook. Uh, it's definitely a different format of practice, a lot more teaching and instruction. Uh, with the returning players, within, when they're practicing, uh, they're already up to speed. So we have them uh, going at a little bit quicker pace, but uh, it's definitely an opportunity for them to get some growth and development on football, but uh, no games this year. Okay. Now, I've been hearing some uh, rumors out there that uh, maybe you're looking at trying to uh, organize some, some games in uh, next spring. Uh, can you tell me something about that? Definitely, uh, you know, Coach Constantine uh, at Laval really initiated it, uh, looking at uh, the possibility of a spring tournament with uh, a small number of teams, six teams per grouping, uh, and being able to get some games in uh, since we're not going to have any games this year. Uh, so I think it's a great idea, a great opportunity for the guys to get back on the field and shake off a little bit of the rust from missing this season and uh, lead right into the uh, 2021 season. So when will we know uh, anything about that? Well, we're waiting on U Sports uh, to make a ruling on it. It's out of our season of play uh, in May. Uh, normally that's a shutdown period for us uh, and it's just a strength and conditioning time. So hopefully U Sports will permit this. It's uh, such a unique situation. And I think it's a great opportunity for teams to get back on the field and do some football. What do you think the impact is of, uh, for, for the university or any university and not having a, a football program going um, this year? Well, it's certainly all sports uh, that are missing right now at the university. It impacts the culture of a university. Uh, you know, sports is a great rallying point uh, and identity for universities. Uh, so uh, it's definitely different, even uh, the students aren't in the classroom all the time. Uh, most of it's still being done over uh, Zoom meetings or other types of uh, media. Yeah. So it's very different world right now uh, that we're all trying to adjust to. So what does it mean for those, uh, say the, uh, the kids you recruited last year for this year's program, um, you know, what's happened to them? Are they, have they showed up or have they not come to university this year? Or? They're, they're all in town now and uh, they're training with the team. So we're uh, lifting four times a week and then on the practice field three times a week. So uh, we're getting some uh, things going in that direction. So it's, a, it's been a great opportunity for us to spend a lot more time with the younger players than we might normally have the opportunity to do just in terms of learning our systems and being able to slow the pace down. So normally we're hitting them so fast and furious yeah. that it, it's hard for them to keep up. And, uh, and so this has been a, a unique uh, circumstance and we're just, uh, the guys have been, had a great attitude uh, towards it all and they're really working hard. Yeah, tough not to uh, be out on the field and defending the Vanya Cup this year, I guess. Yeah, that's certainly uh, one of the biggest disappointments is not having that opportunity. We had a majority of our team returning, uh, and uh, so we were really looking forward. The guys were excited in the winter training until COVID hit, and then when the season was finally canceled, that was definitely a big disappointment for everyone. So what happens then with uh, some of the uh, final year players uh, in, in terms of their eligibility? Uh, will they be able to play next year? Or 
Yeah, so, uh, you know, some of those players, such as our quarterback, Josiah Joseph, uh, they'll be able to extend and play next year. Uh, each of them are making individual decisions. Some of them have received their degrees. They were going to come back and play final year this year, but to extend it for two years uh, maybe just isn't right for them. Uh, they're looking at opportunities uh, to get, of getting jo jobs out there. And uh, so it's, it's just individual decisions, and we've had those discussions, and some guys left, but uh, the majority are still here. Okay, and last question for you, Wayne. As you lo look uh, towards next year, uh, how does all this impact your recruiting of, uh, of players for next year? Well, it certainly had a, a big uh, uh, impact. We're a little bit guarded. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. We have a lot of guys in the CFL draft. Uh, we're going to have two freshman classes basically at the same time. Uh, we're also going to have those uh, guys that would have normally moved on back. And also U Sports is, uh, has a, a reduction in roster sizes. So it has a big impact and I'm being very cautious and making sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're recruiting the right players for our program. It won't be as big a class as maybe we've had in past years. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us today, Wayne. Well, I appreciate it, Mario. Thank you. That was Wayne Harris, uh, football coach with the U of C Dinos. This has been It's Your Business with Mario Taniguzzi. Thanks for joining us today.